Hello and welcome to today's video. Today is March 20th and it is a top five Wednesday. Today's topic is spring raids. So I really hope <laughs> the lighting is okay. My shadow moving here might distract me a bit, but you can see some of, some of my books here and some random stuff on my bedside table. So spring is a season of growing. Plants start to grow after the winter. Things start to bloom and spring is just really beautiful and pretty and what's not to love about spring. So I've picked some books I think represent spring and maybe the colors remind me of spring, the theme reminds me of spring, or I just want to read them in spring. So the first one I'm picking is one I read I think in the fall. I think I read this in the fall. And it is Chaotic Good by Whitney Gardner. I love this book. This book is so good. It's about a girl called Cameron and she's into cosplay and D&D. &D and it's just a really sweet book. But then there's also a lot, lot of topics in here that are important. A lot of people being mean and bullying and then also since she is female is she really truly a nerd because she is a girl or is she like a fake nerd so it goes over that topic as well and it has the signed um why am i blinking it has the signed thing book plate there and i play D, &D so i love it because when she plays D, &D in the book i'm trying to find an example it turns into like cartoon, cartoon, comic. Yes, I love it. It's good. So the next one on my list here is Geekerella. This was also in the book box with um, Chaotic Good. This is by Ashley Poston, and I believe the second book, um, she has like a series about nerdy retellings. And um, this is the first one. That the second one is coming out soon, I think in May. And I haven't read this one yet, and it's definitely one I really want to read. So it's a Cinderella retelling, and all of these retellings in the series take place at like cons. Um, so this one is, oh my gosh, I'm reading Excelsicon. I may have said that wrong, but it has something to do within the book. And it has the letter, and then it is also. Yeah. <laughs> um, so these just seem like really fun, good reads. I read that one. This one seems like a really fun, good read. Then I have When Dimple Met Rishi, which I am currently reading, and it is by Sandia Menon. Yes. And this one just like screams summer or spring, just the iced coffee. The wonderful orange on it is so happy. And this is about Dimple. She knows what she wants to go for school. She also wants to go to this summer program for aspiring web developers. Um, but her parents are really obsessed with her finding her um, ideal Indian husband. Um, a quote. Um, Yeah, and she just doesn't really care for that. She knows what she wants to go for school for. She has that figured out. She wants to go to school. She doesn't care about finding a husband right now. So Rishi is this hopeless romantic and his parents tell him that him and his future wife are going to be attending the same summer program and he has to woo her off her feet and um, it's probably going to be Dimple. So the third book I'm going to be sharing for my spring list is um, what If It's Us by Becky Albertalli and Adam Silvera. This book is about Arthur and Ben. Um, Arthur believes the universe um, will deliver an amazing romance when you least expect it. And Ben um, doesn't really believe in that. You know, he's more... 
optimistic maybe <laughs> I don't know I guess we'll have to read the book and find out um, so when Arthur and Ben meet cute at the post office what exactly does the universe have in store for them then because it is spring and spring is the time where you do all the spring cleaning you get your house in order you kind of get your life in order because it's starting to warm up it's beautiful outside again um, yeah, I don't know, just kind of when you start getting your house in order, spring cleaning, everything like that. So I have some different type of books now, some personal development parenting type books. So first I have the two Rachel Hollis books, um, Girl Wash Your Face and Girl Stop Apologizing. These are very popular books and this one just came out recently. And this one came out, I don't really know when, last year maybe? These are definitely two books that I want to read. I have heard nothing but good things about them. I listened to her podcast. I haven't listened for a little bit, but I was really, really enjoying it. I was going to see her live in the summer, but I'm not going to anymore. But I was excited for that. But um, yes, these are two books that I really want, really want to read. And I think they're perfect for spring personal development books. Um, if you're in a book club, you can probably definitely pick this as one of your books and everyone would be enjoyed. It seems like all sorts of people are reading this book and really liking it. Like people that don't normally read, people that read a lot. So that makes me excited and I really want to read them. Next here are two books that I bought because Tahara, Tahara, Mafi, I'm sorry, probably pronounced the name wrong, um, posted on her Instagram story that these are the books she used to potty train her daughter. And my daughter is three and I have failed time, time again to potty train her. So I bought Potty Training in Three Days, which I have read, loved. It's pointed out so many mistakes I've made, which is amazing. And then I also got, oh crap, potty training, everything modern parents need to know to do it once and do it right. Haven't made it to this one yet, but I, I'll pick it up in the next few days for sure. So yay, starting potty training again, we're on day three. And it says don't leave the house for the first three days. Yeah, we spent the whole morning yesterday in town. It went really well. And then she's spending the whole, like, I don't know, lunchtime. They've been gone for a while and um, hopefully it goes really well. So, yay. Then I have parenting books and it's never too late to start learning. I do have two kids. I have Gwen who is three and Rai who is one. And exciting news, I'm pregnant again, which is why I kind of stopped posting for a little bit on everything. And that's why, because I'm pregnant again, I am, what day is it? 14 weeks 14 and a half so i'm just in the second trimester so i can post online now i post on facebook and instagram so yay i made it to the second trimester morning sickness should be gone um except the first time i threw up was today and it's second trimester so <sighs> so um also one of like my favorite booktubers that i watch is also pregnant uh, with her first and I'm blanking on her name currently which is embarrassing because I love her channel I'll comment below but congratulations on your pregnancy it's so exciting I'm so excited for you to have your first kid um, if anyone has three kids comment below I'm terrified <laughs> so yay I am the third kid my parents had three um, obviously everything turned out okay with them I'm normal kind of so Anyways, enough about that. Um, if you do want to hear about like pregnancy videos and everything, I'll be putting that up on Coast Family Mom probably starting next week because I haven't filmed anything this week and I feel pretty lousy today. So that'll be all up next week. So about parenting books, if you are a parent or if you want to be a parent, here are some books that I have acquired and I think are good books or will be good books. So aside from those two potty training ones, I have started The Five Love Languages of Children by Gary Chapman and Ross Campbell. We have the one for couples, which I like. Um, I thought this would be amazing because each kid is so different 
and Rye is so cuddly, so I know hugs and kisses make him feel loved. But Gwen doesn't really want hugs and kisses. She wants, she feels loved in different ways. So I thought reading this book would really help me connect with my kids better and make sure that they know that they're loved and find a way to show them where they they feel it strongly. So, yay. The next book I got is one I am so excited to read. I follow this family vlogger and I completely forget her name currently. It's like on the tip of my tongue. Um, completely forget, but she got this book and I, it sounded something I needed. And it is how to talk so little kids will listen. There's one, one of these parents um, has a bunch of books about this and there's one for teenagers, older kids. So this is the one for little kids because I have little kids and it's meant for ages two to seven. And I feel like this is definitely something I need because you can talk to your kids and tell them to do something like 500 times and they won't do it. So this will have like strategies on how to communicate with them and then ways for you to listen to them so they want to communicate with you which is really important part of parenting is you want them to feel comfortable to come to you whenever they have any issue. So I'm very excited to read this. I am honestly so excited, so excited. Then I have, wow, okay, one that Gwen has spilled on a lot, or me. I'll just blame Gwen because she likes to play with my books, but it definitely looks like coffee. And it is Healthy Sleep Habits, Healthy Child, and it's huge, but you don't have to read the thing front to back, and it goes over all ages, which is really nice. You kind of read, and it tells you if you have a problem, you jump to a certain page. And Rai doesn't have any sleeping issues yet. Cross my fingers, hopefully not ever, but he might when he's older. But Gwen had a lot of sleeping issues, so this will definitely come in handy for the third one of the sleeping issues depending if they have sleeping issues. But this has so much information. It's just like packed, it's huge. So the last book is one that my parents read when we were little and it's Barbara Coloroso. Kids are worth it raising resilient, responsible, compassionate kids. These are parenting books that I will be reading this spring. These are the personal development books I'll be reading this spring. Then here are some why a contemporary romances I think would be perfect for spring. So thank you for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Comment below what books you think are perfect for spring or really comment anything 